Hey, what's up everyone? This video is going to be mainly about the SpaceX launch. Now, if you're not aware, yesterday, during President Bush Sr., during President Bush's funeral, they were airing online a live stream of a space launch and a live stream of the Earth. And it's kind of odd that they would choose the time when many people would be around this world would be focused on a funeral, the funeral of a major president, a United States president, a major individual, political individual, and a war hero, someone who they know that this entire world is going to be watching the funeral service of the of this of the person of this this person and they know that everyone is going to be focused on that and then they claim to show a live feed of the earth during that time i actually got to check it out i noticed because I, I got some notification about it and then i was thinking huh well i guess i'll check that out at the same time as i'm watching some of the the funeral service and I seen the rocket go up there, and then they said it entered the atmosphere, and then you, or and then it re-entered, fell back down into the earth. You could see, but I didn't see any issues, as far as I could tell. I didn't see that. Uh, I didn't see any issues. They were claiming there was an issue for the first time in years. They said that it crash landed, it rather than actually making it to the space station. But from what I could see, it seemed like it was going okay. But apparently, it crash landed, and. Some other strange things going on on Mars, volcanic eruption that has not been seen in a very, very long time. Some major things happening, supposedly. There's this major eruption taking place on Mars. There's supposedly disruption and uh, chaos happening on the planet Mars right now. And there's all of these things going on. You have all of these, all of these things taking place. Now, you might already know Olympus Mons is the largest volcano in our solar system, currently discovered anyway. Olympus Mons happens to be Mars's volcano. And they stated that there's a Martian volcanic eruption that's likely taking place right now. But that's speculation. I don't know if that's true or not, but that is what many, many prominent YouTube channels are stating. <clears throat> I may or may or not may or may not also post this emotional video that I did yesterday. Well, two days ago, not yesterday, but I contemplated posting it several times. It was about someone. That it was just about just my thoughts, and if you, it's very, it's kind of sappy, and it's just my personal emotions and thoughts, and just my personal feelings. Just vlogs about a vlog about my feeling feelings, and uh, yeah, it's just personal thoughts that I felt like sharing at the time. And if you if you don't really care to hear that sort of thing, then you can just skip it. That's fine. But if you do, then it's great to know that someone listened. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I found that strange that they would choose during the time of President George Bush Sr., George H. W. Bush. Apparently, he was a patriot, you know, a war hero who... Saved many lives during during his term, during his serve, service in the military, and almost died many times, but averted death, and, and many different times he shot the enemy down and destroyed the enemy and hit the target, and they stated that, uh, and, and, his, and then his funeral service took place, Oddly enough, during this live stream of space. Also, they did a live stream of the Earth. They did a view, a video, supposedly, of the Earth. And I'll, I'll show that sometime soon. So, I mean, interestingly enough, they decided to show that. And you can actually see some stars in one of the feeds, one of the videos they showed, in one of their streams. But they choose to do that when... President Bush's funeral is taking place. Also, I mean, it was interesting to see that five sitting presidents, five presidents actually were in, five administrations actually were in the same room together. And so many individuals um, and, you know, previous presidents and the current president all in the same 
To see four previous administrations and the current administration in the same room together is something interesting to to witness at the funeral service of of a, of a previous president. It was something else to behold. It was something interesting to witness. But anyway, uh, rest in peace to him and uh, condolences to and prayers to his to his family and and loved ones and friends and everyone who uh, thought a lot of him. But anyway, moving back to another topic that I just found that to be strange that they would pick that date. They did that again before during another funeral service, during another, uh, the, this previous, uh, I think they were doing one, if I'm not mistaken, during the time, let's see, during John McCain's and during um, several other major events. They chose to do that right then. Also, for the first time in history, they claim. Now, just think about this. This seems off to me. They, they claim that they are going to let everyone see Google Mars and let everyone get a live stream of Mars. I mean, just think about this. Giving us a live stream, a live view on all of our devices of a Martian landing of a new rover they put on Mars... Supposedly, they live-streamed it to Earth. I mean, when we're doing a live-stream here on Earth, say from Australia, and someone's trying to stream in the United States, there are sometimes glitches in live-streams that we have today. I mean, today. I mean, do you know how much bandwidth and how much signal it takes to do live-stream? I mean, how much, how much processing power and how much... I mean, how, do you know how much it takes to do a live stream here on Earth, let alone one from all the way from Mars? So I highly, I don't know, I have my major doubts on a live stream coming all the way from Mars when we have spotty cell phone signal here on Earth, and some places are dead zones, and you can't even hardly, I mean, GPSs don't always work. Think about it. Satellites and cell phones and everything have a hard enough time working and transmitting signals here on Earth. Albeit, yeah, better than it used to be, obviously. I mean, we've come a long way since just a few years ago, but... Still, to transmit a signal all the way from Mars? I don't know about that. I mean, I just, I don't know. I mean, I, I just asked Google. It's, it's 33 million nine hundred thousand miles from earth to mars 33.9 million miles now think about that how can we get a live data transmission in real time from 33 million nine hundred thousand miles away in real time how could they control the rover in real time from that far away any type of rover or 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 martian module so to speak some people speculate we already have people on Mars. Now, some people stated that President Trump's Space Force and all of this is uh, going to destroy the... Uh, going to... basically going to really put a damper on the elites and their power, which would be a good thing. But uh, they stated that it's going to really rock and shake things up and that the... Uh, the... If you've heard a little bit about that, the... Um, the the uh, meetings that, that he's been having and uh, secretive things that have been taking place. Now, I'm not stating 100%, but I've seen a few other YouTubers that are speaking about this, and some leaks have taken place online of some, online of some news articles stating that they, they stated that President Trump was, uh, you know, actually planning a space force, which he mentioned as well, and that space force and everything is planning to rock the elites and their agenda, basically, their control, and the seek the deep state. They actually mention the deep state on several news sources. It's real. It is real for sure. The control that people don't believe in or don't see. But back to that topic, I mean, 33,900,000 miles away, and they claim we get a live feed of it, and they control a, a Martian rover on Mars that far away, Yet, we can have errors here on Earth within just a, a short distance. I mean, 
I get that a lot more computing power, a lot more signal transmission, a lot more technology is into play there, goes into play there, but the thing is, they stated that a few years ago, that when they send people to Mars, it would take up to three months to receive a transmission or an SOS or help signal back. Now, how does that work? If it takes, if it would take, when they send people to Mars, assuming they're going to, and assuming that actually is going to be capable of happening and something doesn't stop us from doing that, technologically speaking, I mean, by using technology rather than a spiritual advancement, I believe society would have, should have actually went in a spiritual direction rather than a technological advancement or technological direction, but we're... Well, anyway, that's a topic for another video. But, assuming we actually do do that, and or that we already have, they stated a while back that it takes over around... It would take three months for an SOS or an emergency message. It would take three months for a help message to get back from the Mars rover, or the Mars pod, from the uh, Martian pod, or whatever the people are in, the device, the, the ship, going to Mars. It would take three months for them to be able to send signal back. Now, that was a few years back, yes, so things might have changed since, since then, I don't know. But that was still at the time they claimed to have received live transmission and live feed from the Mars rover. So, I mean... If it would take three months just to receive a message back and forth to Earth from the uh, from the Martian rover or Martian module that the people are in or Martian ship that the people are in, then how in the world, how in existence, how in this world, how in existence, period, can they claim to be receiving a live transmission from Mars? 30 million, 300, I mean, 900,000 miles or whatever it is away. Over 30 million miles away, they claim to receive that transmission. Yet they claimed it would take three months to receive an, um, an, an error message or an SOS or a signal for help or to relay a signal of help back and forth or what they're stating. It would take three months, but yet they claim to be getting live feed now and always have since they send it out there that doesn't add up that's all i'm stating but anyway give your thoughts on this uh, i had so much more to say and i kept going off into other directions and forgetting what i was going to say i think i am going to post that video regarding some just regarding something personal i think i am going to post it um so if you get through that video thank you much love and peace and give your thoughts bye